looks like I get to play the role of closer tonight. And uh, I love the music you all played during your poster sessions. I thought that was really cool because especially as, he, as a baseball fan and, yeah, you know, a Yankee fan. It's nice to know that it's a tolerant group, isn't it, actually? Um, Mariano Rivera, the world's greatest closer, used to play Enter Sandman. But if I did that and I put you to sleep, which I probably have done before, that would be quite depressing. So I noticed that there are several people here who, are, um, who left the college and ruined their lives. Uh, <laughs> I just... I just want to know that you know there are no hard feelings, and from my point of view, in a way, even though I missed you, it wasn't bad because there was at least a couple of people who didn't ask me for 30 letters of recommendation. <laughs> so let's just start by saying thanks to the people who made this possible. We could go back to your parents and ancestors and who begat and who begat, but I think we're going to, to leave that. But let me just start with your planning committee. You, you, you did a lot of work. You spent a lot of money that wasn't yours. You did a good job. Um, I want to say that um, there are a lot of other people who need to be thanked, too. So the junior and senior instructors who guided you through this process, um, Jonathan, Kamal, Japanaka, um, uh, David, Anna, Victor, Andre. Uh, it's a lot of work to do this. Give them a round of applause, please. So Nietzsche famously said that you have to have chaos within you to give birth to a dancing star. I'm down with the dancing star part. But when there's chaos in the office, which has happened every once in a while, and I may have contributed to it, we've always had Amanda and now Rick to clean it up. So please thank them. One more, one more word. Um, Muhammad and Jonathan uh, read all of your proposals, budgets, some of which had a closer relation to reality than to others. So let me thank them for all the work. <laughs> None of you have graduated. Just remember that. Thank you. And there was light. I'm sure there's a moral lesson there. I just don't care. Um, so um, Jonathan has guided the Keystone process for two years. He has put an enormous amount of work into this. He has written um, emails to you that are so long or elegant that even if I had the capability and I don't, nothing in the world would have made me do that amount of work. So give him a round of applause. So. A few, other, a few other things. Um, during um, the morning sessions, uh, after a couple of them, two of you who remain nameless because they really want to be named, said to me, well, are you proud of us now, Charles? <laughs> and I, I like having parental moments like this, but the answer really was, I, I was proud of you before, but I'm extraordinarily proud of all of you now. You did a wonderful job. I mean that. I mean, I've been to a lot of conferences. Most of them are excruciatingly boring events when I can't wait to take off the dorky tag and get out of the hotel in question and have some fun. But this was a real pleasure and a real privilege. 
at one of our five jolly open houses um, during April, which I actually do enjoy, um, several of the parents have taken to complimenting me on the students. Uh, one said that I must have extraordinary taste to be able to choose such students. <laughs> Now, what I should have said was, aside from a, a couple of appeals in which I can take a degree of credit, you have to really um, give the credit to admissions. But instead, I said, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, the, other thing, <laughs> the other thing was that in terms of the, um, the Keystone projects, um, so the parents especially were knocked out, as were the students by those of you who talked about your projects. And while I was about to take credit for them too, um, I began to feel a tinge of guilt. And growing up where I did, when I did, and how I did, I tried to take um, preemptive measures by having a guiltectomy when I was about six, which is having your guilt glands, or your conscience it's often called, Zach in moral philosophy without experiments removed. But I felt, I, I felt that that was wrong to take credit. And what I told her was, I think is simply true, that in this college, it's not alchemy. We're not starting with lead and turning it into gold. We're starting with gold and we're trying to shape it in a way. So congratulations, and now let's have the funner part of the symposium <laughs> for drinking for carousing and for and for and, and remembering that no one's graduated, no one has a grade, and judgment is ever present. Thanks very much.